Hello everyone, this is Deathroof and we're gonna play Marvel Future Fight. In today's video we're gonna find out uh, which is the best characters to use and what's the criteria that I'm using doing Shadowland from stage 1 until stage 35 that uh, where the stages stops being unique and starts being repetitive and you have to swap or choose whatever stage you want. Uh, in every stage, like stage 1, you have like options here and there and you can see here you could use splash type, combat type or speed type. That means that you have to use only the specific type it's the game is saying you. And as you can see the characters here, it's speed type, so you have an advantage using combat type uh, without uh, the game saying to you. But there is a penalty also, so you have to push and uh, use only that kind of characters the game is saying to you and here I'm gonna say you how I'm choosing and of course in the early stages in like the first 20 or 22, 23 I'm trying to choose only tier 1 characters like uh, this girl here she's American Chavez and I haven't tier 2 here uh, also I haven't built her so good as you can see, I've got like uh, no skills upgraded and no Urus and I'm always giving a CTP like a um, obelisk, whatever obelisk and that's okay, that's okay to clear that kind of stages and most of the times I'm using uh, the tier, th I'm using more uh, 6 characters, uh, how it's called, 6 star characters and I am rank 6 characters basically uh, just for the bonus if you're doing it you're getting a bonus here and the bonus it's the same until the stage uh, 35 so whatever whenever you want you could do some supports here and there and if I'm not sure about the character if I, it's gonna make it I'm putting a rank 1 character just to have the option to swap between the characters so let's see stage one here and it's pretty easy guys you could uh, try it with less than rank six character like like rank one or rank two, rank two but uh, as you can see i've got a lot uh, tier one rank six so i could use them uh, in that early stages here and as you can see i'm having a second character with me uh, in case i take a lot of damage from uh, one guy here and I have to swap or something and Spider-Man most of the time it's uh, making my uh, my job difficult and doing the how it's called the webbing on me well, like here as you can see but uh, now I have not managed to kill all the other opponents so I can do it and most of the stages guys got different rewards and the other one except the first one got like uh, you have to choose between cards or custom gears or iso and a uh, guide for me yeah in the first it's always the same 10 black antimatters and 20 north stone of chaos so whatever you choose you're getting the same reward uh, in the stage two i think you could choose between Dimension debris and debris and gear up kits and the gold it's pretty much the same so it's no no need to think about it these rewards is so bad so there's no point of thinking about it I'm using uh, giant man here Goliath or the name of him it's Goliath and two other just for the bonds reward and it's no big deal here again uh, there is a uh, the rubble stages like this this one it's uh, like you have all the enemies three time three enemies and there is two enemies in the bands so when you kill these three the first three there is a uh, others coming after but uh, y you can see the overcreep here of uh, goliath it's so big so I, there's no real challenge here and even with the other two guys I could clear it and I have no build at Goliath as uh, I had before on American Chavez. So here the reward was not big of a deal so 
that's why I run through it and okay we, we are going to the third stage here and let's see this thing no let's see yes in the previous stages I was using that kind and now I use I get I'm always using exactly the same, <laughs> I'm trying at least, uh, most of the times uh, the game is switching the stages, yeah, as you can see here, I haven't cleared uh, the same stages as I did before. So here we have to choose between male hero, female or blast type, and I'm, I'm always seeing which is the one that uh, I have the most. So it, it's a relay mode. Relay mode means like the first one. It's like there is max top two. There is top two enemies, and you have to kill two enemies, and that's all. In the rubble mode, as you saw, you could. Uh, there is always more. So if you kill the first, there is another coming, another coming until all is dead. And in this stage, I could use like a female. Let's see if I have any low level female. Oh no, all the females I've got, it's pretty good, so I don't want to waste a female here. So let's try a male in the other stage. Yes. And here I'm gonna use a male character, and it needs to be a hero also. So I could use this guy here. Sang Chi, yes, he's really good. And I'm gonna take with me two helpers. And let's take this guy. And let's take this guy also. No, I'm gonna let him. Where is another hero? Yes, let's take this guy here. And we're using them for the bonus reward. And I'm using uh, most of the times I'm using more characters in the early stage because in the next stages the rank six characters I've got it's better. So in the start you see Sang Chi here has no build at all, as I saw you before the previous characters, and he's pretty bad uh, his uniform and his uh, his as a standalone character he's pretty bad, but he got a uh, leadership and I'm taking advantage of it. And I'm using him in the early stage to clear some easy content. And as you can see, he got a lot of stuns here and there. So that's what uh, that's something that it's important in uh, Shadowland. You need characters that uh, got immobilize effects, stuns, fears, freezes. Everything counts here. You can use everything, and it's not like uh, the world boss that uh, you can't use the stun that you can. Uh, use the paralyze most of the times and you can't freeze the boss like in null you can't you can't do anything but uh, in most of the world bosses you could use like freeze or charm effects but uh, you can as you can uh, use some stands and in southern land every effect matters so it's pretty nice and here I'm gonna we it'll, Use Lizard's leadership, and I'm gonna have Unsmained DPS Calcius. He's villain, and we need the villain for this stage. I haven't built him so well, so he's the proper guy to do the job here. Calcius, uh, when he came into the game, used to be a good villain to use in ABX, as I remember, and he was like a real good uh, with uh, this time freeze and stuff he has in. He's has like a uh, Doctor Strange. He's the main villain uh, in Doctor Strange uh, comics. Uh, one of the main villains, basically, like uh, Dormammu. He's the color of Dormammu or something like this, as I remember from the movie. And you can see here he's uh, having a lot of damage against uh, this kind of uh, stage, stage four. But I'm using him because I have so bad build on him, so that's why I'm using him early. And as you can see, I have spent like 10 minutes, and with 10 minutes, I have managed to clear like four stages. And I'm having the worst case scenario characters that I could use here. I am doing it uh, basically because I want to do, I want to save all my tier two characters to try to push uh, even more. Uh, the Shadowland and the stages I'm gonna play because it matters for 
the cosmic core event and i have i have no spent any energy of cosmic core energy at the moment i haven't get any good reward let's see here if we got oh, yes a mythical card it's pretty good and i'm i'm trying to get as more energy i can and as you can see here you could get from shadowland stages 10 each so if you manage to do like 100 stages you're gonna take like 1000 points so it's pretty important if there is a comic core event to try to push shadowland even more stage 5 it's the, the first hard stage hard uh, for you know you for new players or basically the enemies got uh, really nice combos there and they are it's a rumble mode so everyone is hitting hard and you have to care more and here i'm gonna use a blast type i've got a lot of them in um, in, in the early stages and i could use like these enemies yes physical attack i don't think everyone is doing his physical attack here physical energy what this is he got skill yes he got physical and let's try this team here no i'm gonna do it uh, more easy for us guys as you can see i've got a lot of uh, enemies i've got a lot of uh, Wrong, a tier one characters that it's uh, good characters like uh, here uh, female Ironman <laughs> from the movie I can't remember here it's like support what's her name I'm not sure it's uh, her name is like uh, it's the girlfriend of Ironman but I can't really remember the name it's a summer or What's the name? I'm gonna take it out after that, guys. For sure, I can't remember her name, and she was like one of uh, my favorite Iron Man suits. Let's see her name here. Where is she? Where is this girl? And let's find here. I'm gonna burn my skull here until I found it. My my brain is rescue. Yes. <laughs> I was uh, saying passive or some rescue. Yes, she is gaming for the rescue, and rescue is a good character. She is not an awakened or could be a tier three, so there is no reason for me doing her tier two. And she is helping a lot uh, in that low stages. And here it's the first, the first uh, stage that you have to choose between rewards. And there is ISOs, there is custom gears, and there is cards. And of course you have to choose the card, because the card is the most expensive thing that uh, there is in the game. And it's expensive because you need a lot of them to create a tier 6, uh, I mean a quality 6 card and a rank 6 card. And it's pretty important to collect them, because you have to craft, you have to combine, you have to roll all of the cards. There is a lot of reasons that you want to use this reward and try to push from this point of view the stages i mean the point of view that uh, is giving you the card uh, the card gift the card box the card loot box and here uh, i am using magic she is the sister of colossus with phoenix 5 <laughs> phoenix 5 uniform and as you can see as a tail run she's pretty strong and she can do one shot all the stages. i mean I did like a fifth skill and I killed two guys and and another guard came and I ha I killed uh, half HP. So you can see she's uh, very very good. She's not that good that uh, you could uh, invest in her and do her tier two for me at least in the level of research I've got. So I'm not gonna waste any tier two ticket for her at the moment. If she's gonna get an awakening skill or tier three, or I'm gonna consider it. But at the moment she's pretty useless. So I'm using her in low stages of of Shadowland. And here we are again. We have to choose between blast type, villain, and combat type. So let's find out. Uh, last time I used like uh, some uh, blast types here. But I already used some blast types, so I'm gonna swap into the villains. And let's see what villains we could uh, take advantage of here. And we're gonna use this leadership, and she's going a lot of stuns, Titania. 
I'm gonna use Absorbing Man and let's take uh, Scourge. None of them is pretty good character, guys, but uh, as a team, I think they have they have a lot of stuns, and I'm using them as a team always because they are combat. And Titania giving the buff to combat types. She's doing the stuns here and there, so it's really nice. The only one who could uh, uh, destroy our party here it's this guy the blast type guy I don't remember his name but he's doing a lot of damage to us because we are combo types so as you can see three bot characters could clear a good rumble here and again it was a rumble and it, uh, it was easy for me the only thing I didn't explain before it's uh, the wave the wave stage the wave stage was uh, uh, two stages before, uh, when uh, I clear it with, uh, I don't really remember, but we're gonna have a, a, another wave stage in the next stages, I guess, so let's wait and see. And I'm gonna use here, I need a leadership for physical attack, and let's go in the fight with no that's what i haven't to do so let's go with this guy here and don't use any support hyperion he's a pretty good he got a leadership for himself and he skills it's pretty high level for this kind of content as you can see he can clear pretty nice pretty easy and he got this five skill that you have to wait and let it for load and when you unload it, you're doing a lot of damage. As you can see here, if I if I move him and press another skill, he's releasing all the power and he's doing a lot of damage. And I don't really need him at the moment, that's why I haven't uh, tier to him. I did the rank 6 him for a stage... Uh, what it was like a Thanos stage 10 that you had to have him in your team to unlock him or something like this and that's why I did it and that's the wave mode guys the wave mode means that uh, there is some uh, teams teams of two enemies and you have to clear it wave after wave so the first wave it's gonna or says there wave one or wave two and you have to swap between so here the wave fights it's most of the times annoying so i'm gonna take uh, this leadership here i'm gonna have ulrich also he got a leadership so i'm gonna have a physical attacker and let's take uh, black panther here the bad black panther how it's called eric killmonger yes it the guy from the movie who stole the enemy who stole the black panther's uh, power and he's pretty good, he's around with all his skills and you could uh, do, uh, you got, as you can see, if you don't, if you let all the skills play until the end, he's doing a lot of damage with a uh, obelisk proking, with a proking obelisk I mean, but uh, it's pretty bad at the moment because he's a blast type, so it was my bad I think I guess, because I choose him. And let's see here if he's gonna do any better. No, I'm not seeing any light. And I'm not sure why. I think he's a villain and the stage is for only heroes. Let's see. Let's, perhaps that's the case. And because of my peers, yes. Because of my peers, I could do it. That's what uh, I didn't mention, guys. You have always to see the bottle tip. The bottle tip is that you need to use heroes. So that's why Eric Mogger wasn't doing any damage there. And let's take these guys, this this guy, the spider one, the Arak Knight. Arak Knight. Nice name. It's from the run that uh, all the heroes merged together and that's between Moon Knight and Spider-Man. It was a comic run uh, after the Infinity War. It was Infinity Warps because uh, the multiverse was uh, kind of uh, destroyed and all the heroes uh, emerge each other and have their powers combined. It's a weird coming run after the Infinity War run with Thanos and all this stuff. 
but I haven't really read it. I read like uh, the first issues that it was the stories that uh, all the characters uh, take their powers and the and the characters uh, merge together and having uh, their powers combined. It was like a Doctor Strange with Wolverine and stuff like that. Iron Man with Thor, it was Iron Hammer, you you know the character from the game, but you have to run, it's, uh, you have to read the comics to understand. And that's the worst additional reward you could get, and that's why I'm using another rank 6 characters with uh, my Arachnite there. And as you can see, we have managed to clear like 10 stages in 20 minutes, and 20 minutes with a lot of talking guys from me. And you can see you could do you could manage to do it a lot of easier. And here you could uh, you have you have to choose just what you want to use. There is no big uh, difference into the rewards. So I'm gonna use like two medium strong characters here, heroes. And I'm gonna take this guy also for the all attack. Or no, I'm gonna take the ignore dots and use here system grim. She's better than a leadership with no skill users and let's take uh, I'm gonna take my boy here Falcon and try to stun and immobilize this uh, blast type fairy here I don't remember her name also uh, I think she's uh, I'm not sure she's one of the new Avengers but I'm not sure about her name it's not butterfly for sure but it's something like this and let's see no no yes we could manage to do it and all of these characters got no ooze no build no skill upgrade and they are just uh, rank 6 and they got like an obelisk that feeds them so the obelisk could push them further of their abilities as you saw ghost rider the new, the second ghost rider or whatever his name is did all the job and i was using falcon to stun and mobilize my enemies here it was a rubble and that's why i took like three medium guys to take care of it and again here uh, it's the stage 11 the stage is it's 6 11 and 16 that you have to choose the card and always the card it's uh, most viable it's most available for anyone and anyone have to choose this thing because it's really good and you have to it's most uh, most important in the game at the moment to craft your cards and do the repairs more than uh, 6% so you can clear like stage 20 null and mephisto where the blue boxes are dropping from the gold bosses and you're getting the good stuff there that's my point of view of the game at least uh, pve wise and wh that's why i'm choosing always this kind of uh, loot boxes there and as you can see agent venom it's pretty badass and he can do all the work by himself uh, that's why I took this to rank 1, just in case, to having the buff there. And that's the first part of the guide, guys. And I, I did like 11 stages. I took my time and didn't rush through them. And I hope I explained well. And I'm gonna do a follow-up video with the other things of the game. Uh, I mean more than stage 11 like uh, from 11 to stage 30 i guess i've already done some a guide from 30 to 35 so i'm gonna combine it and do a part two and part two and the last part so you can uh, see here what the card looks like it's a four star i don't really think that we are in the saddle and rewards at the moment that was uh, loot boxes i already have in uh, my inventory and yes that's the rare one we got a rare one of course and that's the black window we get we get something else here no everything is bad and don't forget guys that uh, you have to see here before you place acquire all just to recognize 
that you took the uh, the reward for the six year anniversary and you can see here there is a lot of Shadowlands reward monthly bulls deal monthly bonus deal and event sale check in reward check in VIP reward no that's from VIP and admin gift as you can see it says admin gift or surprise gift sometimes it's surprise gift and here you can choose uh, a mutant to get some bios of him and there is no that many mutants that you could use one of the best it's kid omega to choose because uh, his bios it's only choosable from the shop and you can craft them using uh, x-men materials and all the other guys it's from the epic quest so you could get them of course x23 it's also only obtainable from the shop so you have to consider it also and nightcrawler but as you can see i already got a lot of them so i'm gonna go for kid omega and it's uh, as you can see it's a lot of buyers it's 256 i'm not gonna use them for anyone else i guess so i'm going for kid omega and it was only for two days so i'm gonna acquire all the other here that's all the stuff i get from stage uh, one until stage 11 of shadowland so guys don't be a sleeper just uh, use your time and play shadowland because uh, the shadowland it's pretty good and it's giving uh, basic materials that you need to use them uh, into the game for the early stage of your ranking up characters like uh, all these low level stuff north stones and gear up kits and depression debris dimension debris and if you're playing every week Shadowland, you're managed to pull up more and more materials and you have uh, all you have the ices you want for all of your characters and you're getting uh, a lot of good things you have to not ignoring the fact that the Shadowland is available every week you have to go and go take it and here is the defender's gift box don't forget to participate to this event also the one with the gold just ended and I took completely garbage from here and let's see if we're gonna be more lucky and as you can see it's only two days left in Cosmic Core events let's see if we're gonna be lucky here and I guess tomorrow I'm gonna use some crystals I've got like almost 9000 crystals so I'm gonna use some of them to try to roll for a good reward here and to see our luck we got three here it's nice i'm seeing you what you could uh, do you could uh, collect all the energy and do it on the end and spend some as you can see my luck here it's pretty good i have take like three times three rewards together here and that's just two rewards and now it's one that's what when i start talking about my luck i'm losing all of it so let's try to pull another reward here and that's not something you could try guys just wait until the next die and you could let's go to 336 here and change the reward let's use some crystals no one time two times um, i really think to take this tier 3 material yeah i'm gonna take this tier 3 materials and it's okay i rolled i i lost like 150 crystals but it's one crystal for one titan component pack it's pretty fair i guess and plus the rewards we're gonna take from this thing here and don't try it guys every day you could roll once for free and i did because i already have like 5000 energy and it's two days so i could roll like one one more time tomorrow so i could use crystals to spent all my cosmic core energy and if you consider that i'm gonna complete the shadowland until stage 100 or something like this in these days i am gonna have more energy to use cosmic core energy i mean and you see i have i had like 6000 cosmic core energy and i spent it like uh, 2000 for the first like 1500 and now i get it completely completely wasted by the my luck here
Okay, and these rewards is going completely straight to your inbox. You're not seeing them at all, and all these things it's uh, from what I did there in the Cosmic Core event. So don't forget, yes, that's the mythical card I took, a Modok card. Yes, and the Titan component box should be here. No, it it went straight to my inventory I guess and I wanted to remove three materials because guys don't forget that uh, Mephisto is coming to the game like in one month or half a month we're not sure but he's going to come to the game for sure as Nal did so it's pretty much uh, guaranteed that we're gonna have uh, Mephisto so that's why I'm hoarding all these tier 3 materials and I'm not tier 3 anyone at the moment or doing awakening character and I'm having a lot of materials here I'm gonna use to my fist though. Thanks guys for being here and I hope I see you to the next video. Like the video if you liked, comment if you want to see something difficult, something different and subscribe to the channel if you wanna keep up looking at uh, my videos. Thank you again, may the RNG be with you. Bye bye to everyone.